A cracks are showing in Malaysia's five-month-old unity government. Two ruling parties, the Democratic Action Party and the United Malays National Organization, are openly attacking each other in public. This comes amid debate over whether former Prime Minister Najib Razak should be released from jail through a royal pardon. Melissa Goh reports on the dilemma facing current Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim ahead of several state elections this year. It is, after all, a 19-party coalition government, the biggest ever in a country's history. And managing the diverse party interests is no mean feat for Anwar Ibrahim, who took over as the 10th Prime Minister last November. Now, five months on, his biggest partner in the so-called unity government, AMNO, has stepped up pressure on the pardons board, in which the Prime Minister sits as a member in a bid to free its jailed former party president. Najib Raza has exhausted all avenues of appeal in court and failed in a recent review to overturn his conviction and sentence. Now, early this month, Law Minister Azalina Othman, who's from AMNO, revealed that the anti-corruption agency in its probe last year found that the High Court judge that convicted Najib and sentenced him to 12 years imprisonment had breached the judge's code of ethics and had a conflict of interest. No more legal. Uh, the punya legal procedure tu dah tak ada. Now it's called a compassion. <laughs> Maknanya budi bicara yang di Tuan Agung. The MACC chief commissioner has since denied leaking the report. The action by AMNO is said to have put the country's institutions at stake. Ini adalah perkara yang serius. Yeah. Sebab ini adalah uh, satu usaha yang undermine mempertikaikan institusi-institusi uh, pentadbiran negara. Benda ini slippery slope. Dia bila kita dah kita menggunakan apa saja taktik untuk mencapai sesuatu matlamat tetapi kena fikir juga apa kesan jangka panjang ni many including from non government organizations raise concerns about the prime minister's reform pledges and the long term stability of his unity government but some pakatan harapan leaders who are spearheading the government are downplaying the risk unity government i think we will survive until next election inshallah we say because uh, every party in the coalition, they have the, we call, the same interest. They want in the government. Political analysts believe that for the unity government to serve its full five-year term, Mr Anwar needs to convince all coalition partners to focus on the economy. The bigger issue facing the government is not a pardons board or you know, or what's going on with it, I know. I think the bigger issue facing the government is uh, economic recovery. It's unfortunately, uh, a lot of this is uh, caused by external factors that are beyond the control of the, of the government. But of course, eventually, people will blame the government if the if cause of living issue is not addressed. Mr Anwar, who recently visited China, has made eight overseas trips to attract billions of new foreign investment and create high-value jobs. Now, analysts say efforts to transform the economy, create job opportunities and address cost of living will have to gain more momentum to ensure that his Pakatan Harapan coalition retains power in the states of Penang, Selangor and the Greece and Bilan in the upcoming state posts. Much is at stake for Mr Anwar as his unity government faces voters at the upcoming six state elections widely expected by early August. Melissa Go, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.